When people think of decarbonization, they often think of solar panels and electric vehicles. But there's carbon in everything around us. Cement is responsible for 8% of global CO2. It's a problem that's only going to get worse. So there's a massive need to make cement low carbon and affordable. Sublime Systems is developing technology to decarbonize cement. I love adventures. The formula for adventure is one part fear and one part excitement. The goal that you set for yourself has to be a little bit outrageous to the point where you may not accomplish it. Learning Krav Maga as a beginner, that's something that I find a little bit scary, you know, getting punched and wrestled and thrown to the ground, but I think it's an important skill. Entrepreneurship is an adventure. You're venturing out into the unknown, you're doing something hard, you're doing something ambitious, and you're constantly navigating the threat of failure. I spent several years working on lithium-ion batteries, and that's what brought me to meet my co-founder, Yet Ming Chang, a famous battery scientist. I remember Yet Ming Chang asking me if I was bored of batteries. Well, I thought it was a trick question, right? Do I tell this famous battery guy that batteries are boring? But I agreed, it's like, I've been working on batteries for so long, I could try something different. And so that's when he said, why don't we use our electrochemistry toolbox and decarbonize cement's carbon footprint? Cement is the most massively consumed man-made material in the world. We use almost 4 billion tons of cement per year, and each ton of cement is responsible for one ton of CO2 emissions. Today's cement is made in giant fossil fuel fired kilns. To make standard cement, you would take the limestone and clay and you'd first heat it to 1000 degrees Celsius. And at that point, the limestone would decompose into cementitiously active lime and CO2. That one step is responsible for 80% of cement CO2 emissions. It's a combination of the CO2 from the fossil fuel needed to get to 1000 degrees Celsius, and also the CO2 from the limestone, which breaks down in that kiln to give you CO2. Our process is driven by renewable electricity at ambient temperature instead of a fossil fuel thermal process. Today's Portland cement needs to be made from limestone. Sublime Systems can use limestone, or we can pull calcium out of a number of other different minerals that are not carbonates and don't evolve CO2 as they break down. Sublime's long-term goal is to reduce cement-making CO2 emissions to zero or as close to zero as possible. In 2050, I want to be able to say to my kids and my grandkids that I was part of the change and that myself and my friends tackled one of the hardest problems and that we succeeded. I'm Leah Ellis, I'm the CEO and co-founder of Sublime Systems.